If you crave this type of suffering, then I can almost guarantee your childhood is the culprit. Now, craving unhappiness sounds counterintuitive, right? But actually it's not. Prepare yourself because you could be yearning for this right here. Hey, I've been thinking about something for a few weeks now. Oh yeah? Um, I, I really love the time we've been spending together and I'm starting to have deeper feelings for you. Um, and I know it's kind of out of the blue, but I was wondering if maybe you like to, I don't know, um, go on a date with me sometime? Yeah, I ain't trying to be mean, but um, I just don't really see you like that. And I gotta be real with you, you know, that C-section scar in the middle of your stomach, that's a turn off for me. So it just ain't gonna happen. So what happened here? I'll tell you. In that example, we had someone with the initial thought to become more emotionally and spiritually connected to a love interest. But then a new thought came in and she imagined this horrible scenario of the person rejecting her due to a physical flaw that's out of her control. So it's like this mental self-flagellation, if you will, where we crave self-rejection to protect our hearts from experiencing it in real life. This is due to scripts that your childhood wrote to make you think that you aren't worthy enough for your desires. This could be due to the fact like, for example, in my case, you had a parent who abandoned you. It causes you to reject yourself for external situations or for people who may not have rejected you at all. So the Don't Believe Everything You Think book is helping me realize that my thinking gaslights me in place of the narcissist who did it in my childhood. My thinking completely took over their role. Now you may say, well, what if the person does say something mean to me while rejecting me? Doesn't that mean my thinking was right? But it doesn't even matter because you're not afraid of them rejecting you. No, you're afraid that their rejection will confirm the thoughts that you already falsely believed about yourself before you even met them. You'll internalize their rejection and think, oh, they're out of my league instead of thinking, oh, wait a minute, this dude or this woman is emotionally immature for trying to make me feel like shit for having a physical flaw. This book helps you understand that you need to see reality for what it is and that no one, but rather your thinking is blocking your happiness. I read this and realized that for the past year, I've thought myself out of meeting so many incredible creators on TikTok live battles. It's the reason that now I've decided to think myself into it and I've had the best time. Look, do not purchase this unless you're ready to uncrave self-rejection, period.